Hi everyone. In this video, I want to give you a quick tour of our brand new YouTube accessible app. To add the grid set, first of all, you'll need to update your copy of grid three to the latest version. Look out for the update notification in the menu bar. Click on that and then click update. And once you've done that, go to menu, add grid sets and accessible apps. Then just scroll down to YouTube, click next and then add. So now we'll launch the grid set and click on start. The home grid shows a selection of recommended videos from YouTube. There's no need to log in, but the more videos you watch, the more personalized the recommendations here will become. So on the left, we have the videos displayed in thumbnails with the currently selected one highlighted in red. And I can navigate around this grid with the arrows and I can also have grid read out the title of, of the video with the speak cell here. But let's say that there's nothing here on recommendations that I want to watch today. I have plenty of other ways of searching for the content that I want. So first of all, I could use one click search. This is a list of saved searches, which you can edit and personalize. So I'm going to add Think Smart Box to this list. You may want to add bands that you like or celebrities or a favorite football team maybe. So I would click on add new one click search and I'm going to type Think Smart Box. And I can select it there from the prediction and then add. And there it is. And you can remove items from this list too. Now I'm going to search for Think Smart Box by clicking on the cell here. I can scroll up and down the search results with the arrow cells and the speak cell will read out the title and the description for me. And then this cell here will jump me right back to the top of the list. So I'm going to choose the Supercore video by clicking on the play cell. So on this grid, we just have a simple play and pause and volume controls. And this really useful cell here close ads. So any adverts which YouTube allows you to close can be dismissed, including video ads, banner ads and pop-ups. So some of the time YouTube will insist that you watch at least the first part of an advert and we can't override that. But as soon as the skip ad button appears, you will be able to close it with this cell. And then the back arrow takes us back to where we were before, in this case, the search results. If we want to search for something specific that might be more of a one-off, so I don't need to add it to my one-click search, I can choose custom search instead, which will take me to a keyboard and then I can just type the search term straight in. So we're going to search for Ed Sheeran and then I just hit the green cell. And then again, we can navigate our search results in the same way and choose the video we want to watch. We can also view trending videos with this cell here, or we can jump back to our recommendations at any time. And when we finish watching, we can exit to Grid Explorer. You'll also find new YouTube grids in our Fast Talker and AlphaCore text communication grid sets. And you can get these by adding a new copy. And finally, we also have a large cell version of YouTube, which you will see whilst adding the regular version by looking at the alternative version section at the bottom. Thanks very much for joining me on this tour of the new accessible app and happy viewing.